What's up, everybody? Hopefully you're having a wonderful week. I had a day off on Monday, and apparently I had to work twice as hard to make up for that. So that's what I've been doing. I've been real busy. We have a lot of things to talk about. We got Star Wars, Attack on Titan reprints, Hollow Live promos, and overall, the really expensive nature of promos given away at conventions. And in this case, it would be Anime Expo and Bushy Road on the Road, uh, to be exact. So uh, what we have first... Comeback Booster Star Wars. This set originally came out in 2017. There was a trial deck, there was a booster box, but thanks to the newfound interest in Y Wars, thanks to uh, collectors coming in, uh, liking some of the stuff that they've never seen before, uh, we have an update to Star Wars. So they're going to be reprinting this set. You're going to get the exact same card images, but you will be getting uh, updated information information power levels abilities whatever is happening here so you can see on this card right here for darth vader uh the level and all that stuff is blacked out i would imagine the level probably would stay the same it'd be three and a cost two uh they may go crazy and actually change that up but i, I would imagine that change uh realistically i would think the abilities would change and what we have there is the power uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It doesn't really matter. It'll be really cool uh, to have people actually collect this, which is what's going to be happening. So it'll be coming out on September 23rd, 2022, which is relatively soon. So I mentioned this first because if you are a lover of Star Wars, you may be thinking about maybe you should pre-order it uh, when it first comes up. I didn't see it on the one site that I look at uh, for pre-order yet but it should be coming anytime soon. Uh, what you're gonna see here is there is Star Wars Rare 6, Special Rares 5, uh, Triple Rares 10, Super Rares 13. And I know you're wondering, is that the same as the original release? I did check on Yu Yu Tay, so right here, we got the exact same numbers. Five SPs, six at Star Wars Rare, uh, you got a 10 Triple Rares, and your 15. 13. 13 super rares. I'm trying to quickly count. Uh, 13 super rares. So it is the exact same. What's going to be happening in this box? As I said, there was a booster box released and there was also a trial deck release. You're not going to get them. Uh, you're going to get all that into one nice little box. So you can see right here, includes Star Wars booster pack and trial deck cards released in 2017. So they will all be in there. They'll be shoved all together and you can see that listed here where you got your double rares but you can see down below we got trial deck so it'll be pretty cool to actually see this I, I brought up some of the cards that are here uh, and here is I am your father I like that one I, I think that'd be a cool one to actually have uh, out of this is a Star Wars rare I will finish what you started I didn't put them all here, obviously, R2-D2, anything that really caught my, oh man, look at that Chewbacca. So that was pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out because if you think about this, this is a Japanese flat box, which is what we have in English right now, you know, like this is the format of the, what the box is. So you're going to take this other version of the box and this trial deck, right? And you're gonna cram it all into this, so it'll sh it'll be interesting to see what packs actually look like. Cause I would I would imagine what's going to happen here is you know normally we get four commons, so somewhere in there maybe it's like three commons and one trial deck card, or, or two commons, two trial deck cards. It'll be neat to see how that works out because maybe one day, one day we get an actual reprint. You, you follow where I'm going with this? If we have a reprint and why Schwartz goes, you know what, we're not going to reprint the trial deck. This is actually a way to reprint the trial deck without actually reprinting the trial deck, um, interestingly enough. So let's say if if they went nuts. I know they, they're not doing it, but if they went nuts and uh, wanted to print Bunny Girl Senpai, which they're not doing it this way, uh, but this time around, they put it in this flat box and shoved the TD in there. That would be interesting. So maybe this is going to be a test for how it will be for future reprints uh, coming up for English. I, I, would have, I would hope that this goes through because we don't normally see trial deck reprints. And I know the nice part is actually having the trial deck, but it would be nice to have the cards with it. Uh, overall, when you take a look at Star Wars, 
you can see here there's there's tons of cards remaining right like anything with the shopping cart means it's still there so it's not like we're hurting for a Star Wars reprint or anything like that it's more of a collector's thing and the nice part is because of that new update to the abilities and power level uh, hopefully it's gonna be usable uh, to play with I mean you can play with anything but uh, we all know that it's it's nicer to have an update which this is going to get so that'll be cool it'll be cool um, yeah, let's move on. Uh, Attack on Titan reprints. So talking about reprints, we're on Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan reprints are ending up in stores hands right now and being shipped out. So if you did not purchase some, you could go on Facebook or look at your favorite D, I guess, internet seller and see if they have any available. They are out there. The one thing I really wanted to point out with these reprints again because still people are out there asking this question. These reprints are exactly the same as the original print. So no difference at all. There's going to be gold, gold, gold signatures on the first set. And the second set had different color signatures. So it's going to match the original printing of these. The box looks exactly the same from what I've heard. It even has the date on there as well. So uh, I'm going to try to zoom in right here. I know you can't see this right here on this point where my pointer is is a date it says 2017 people are saying that 2017 date is on these uh, boxes so that kind of stinks if you're one of the people that uh, bought these cards at a really really expensive price but now they're gonna be out there uh, the other reason why I wanted to bring this up here is keep in mind that the tournament store assist PR pack so when you're going to look out if you didn't buy it yet and you're looking from for someone to buy it through make sure if you are buying it through a tournament store to get your pack or at least have your name noted on a list to get your pack because I don't know if these are out there yet I haven't seen anybody actually talk about it but you are supposed to get one of these tournament store PR packs when you buy a reprint it is right here See, so uh, you get can be redeemed with any purchase of one box of the following item. So if you get the final season, if you get the reprint of season volume one or volume two, make sure you do that. Make sure like somehow they know because uh, people are finding it very lucrative to sell PR packs, right? That's just how it is. Uh, we've seen it with Hollow Live and uh, they're gonna keep doing it so I'm just gonna go hollow live real quick I didn't mean to do that but I'm going here uh, these hollow live PR packs for the hollow live cup uh, people think that it's all gone like every tournament's happened by now it's already it is July 7th and they are gone I will tell you it is not there are stores still uh, that need to do this tournament there are sellers out there that are slowly selling them off as in sellers as in people that should be running tournaments that are selling them how do I know this because I've been watching this I've been watching this on here what they've been doing is coming on to TCG player eBay wherever it is and slowly selling them one by one so that they're not I guess so it does it's not obvious that they're actually taking these packs instead of giving them to the uh, holding a tournament and giving them the players what they're doing is slowly selling them one or two or three at a time and that that's what what I see here I'm not gonna call them out you can you can just look every day like I do and just see the same name uh, appear but it appears on different cards so unfortunately it's still happening I I still wait to see what Bushy Road does about this anyways going back to the attack on titan uh what we have is booster boxes attack on titan uh volume two again getting reprinted so 89.99 is what you're looking at i feel i want to say i feel i i do feel bad i don't like seeing people pay more than what they should you can see on july 3rd someone paid 99 dollars and 99 cents uh, these obviously will be coming down in price. Uh, Attack on Titan Volume One. Uh, you could see July 4th, someone bought it for 100 bucks. So it, it kind of stinks. I wish there'd be more information out there, I guess, for them to pick up on this. But you know what? Fair is fair. The market's out here. The TCG Player uh, websites here. If they buy it, they buy it. That's that's how it works. So we haven't seen much in the way of SPs yet. Uh, we don't even have pictures, but you can see Krista here and Sasha here. But uh, 
it'll be neat to see how much they drop just because uh, they're all the same. They're all going to be the same as the first printing. So you can see here uh, we got different colors. So what I meant, if you didn't know what I meant earlier, season two or volume two anyways, uh, had a non-gold color to begin with. So that's why you can't say gold. It's just original color uh, with the double rares it's gonna be fun watching this one go down because uh, you can see Aaron here 40 bucks Armin 29 Armin was pretty expensive uh, you know the sales history got wiped out but it was $41 at one point we saw what happened with slime so you can see child on the inside Milim this one was uh, that time I got reincarnated on the slime that got reprinted not too long ago and just again to show you what the price was it was in the 30s it was in the 30s after the reprint dropped down to 590 well let's say seven bucks with shipping so obviously i think uh this arm in here is has got a ways to go and we'll see what people opening it coming up uh same thing volume one for attack on titan not too much to look at this was actually interesting to me this aaron yeager sp this is a trial deck didn't get reprinted uh there was a sale on june 26 for 300 dollars so uh, that's pretty nice if you're in the Aaron, uh, not not too bad of a price there. And then uh, double rares as well. So these were pretty low to begin with, but I guess they're going to be coming down even further. Uh, next is Chainsaw Man. So Chainsaw Man, uh, this is the Japanese website. We were wondering when it was going to come out. Uh, this was confirmed July. It's not July. In 2023, it's confirmed for 2023. So we got a booster box and a trial deck interesting enough uh why Schwartz confirmed it for for english you can see that's the same thing why Schwartz, it's coming out in 2023 chainsaw man uh, we will be getting same thing booster box trial deck it's not out here it makes me wonder if we're gonna get that actual summer english conference or not i don't know if we will it should be right here. It, at this point, I always wonder why we even have the, the conferences because we know so much ahead going into it of all these different things that were announced that when we get to the conference, they only have maybe one thing for us, if it's one thing at all. And uh, you know, then we're left with you know kind of disappointed because we didn't get more, but we got it throughout time. So I wonder, uh, I would just say skip the summer one. I know you got to hype it up and still <laughs> We already know most of this stuff. It's not out here. And it, you would think they would have uh, shoved it out here and wrote 2023 on it, but uh, they didn't. They didn't. So anyways, back to PR cards. So Bushy Road on the road. Uh, we know Bushy Road on the road is a lot of fun. Anime Expo is sort of a big thing for them. Uh, they brought out everything. D4 DJ, Bang Dream, all this merchandise. Uh, they did some advertising. And as we know... Uh, they ran a lot of demos and gave away a lot of promos. And that, so uh, what we got is this Aaron Undercover. We have this Dragon Maid uh, PR card. We have this Shioko Corona Bang Dream everywhere. We got a bunch of uh, we got a bunch of Card Fight Vanguard stuff as well. And pretty much these things are worth money because people were selling them all over Facebook. That was what was happening with it. Uh, Chainsaw Man. As you can see here, this was the promo card that everybody was looking for. And uh, right here, $10.99. But look at it. It's moderately played. I was sitting here and I'm like, I wonder what happened to these cards that they, maybe they're just manhandled. Or, you know, like some of the cards weren't the greatest to begin with. The other thing, if you go on Facebook and check out people's pictures selling all this stuff, there's people that are like 15 of these things, 20 of them. Uh, some people have four. I wonder what actually happened in that scenario. Like, I know there are so many people around, so I, I get it. You could have went with your friends. Your friends don't care about why you wore You made them get the promo card, walked away, and you could take it and sell it or split it or whatever you want. But it seems like some people really got a ton of these cards. So um, overall, what I've been seeing is people were selling them for $15. If you don't want to pay $15, uh, Maybe you buy these moderately played ones if they have them in future events and future com conventions. I would hope they would have them in future conventions. Then obviously the price should be coming down on them. I'm just trying to scroll as quickly as I can. Uh, so we have is we have uh, they're going to Gen Con. It was never added to this thing. Um, 
this actual map. Maybe it's not like officially Bushy Road on the road. I'm not really sure on that. But they did announce that Gen Con was on here. That would be happening in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, we have Georgia, New York, and Texas as well. So uh, a bunch of different conventions coming up. I would imagine if they have these, these would be coming down. So uh, it really just depends on how badly you want them up front. I would say you want a good price on it, maybe wait on it. Because with Chainsaw Man, it's not like you're going to be using it to play with anytime soon since it comes out in 2023. Uh, Aaron Undercover, here's another one, uh, 11 bucks. And I'm not trying to point out people, but uh, as I said before, here's 13, here's 23. Uh, go on Facebook and you'll see people with tons of these cards uh, spread out in the pictures. So I don't know if they hit up the stand a couple times. Again, they most likely went with friends and got it from them. But uh, these cards, if, you, if you're following my drift here... I know people were would have killed to pay five bucks five bucks for these promo cards. So just uh, take a look at how many promo cards there are, and uh, just be like, if you went there a couple times or had friends, uh, you made a, a a decent amount of money just for stopping by a booth. Uh, there's also making the best memories. Uh, this would be Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Uh, this one as well. There's a few here. Uh, but go on Facebook, you may be able to get a better deal, especially if you point out that this is on TCG Player. All right, um, Bushy Road on the Road, Shiro Kuro Fest uh, 2020, the stamp here, Bushy Road on the Road. It's pretty cool. I like that card. Overall, pretty expensive. I know people are paying a, uh, a decent amount, so just add it up together. I mean, hopefully this is what you're getting out of this. If you just go 10, 10... Let's go 8, 28, the Shioko card, maybe 20, 15, something like that. That's a, that's a pretty, that goes a pretty far way in paying your actual uh, convention price. Not to say that these values will hold, these prices will hold, but it's amazing how much giving out a promo card and, and selling it early on is worth. I remember going to um, a convention and they had a, what was it, Walking Dead number one comic and there was variants at different convention and some guy was literally walking the you got it when you went into the convention it was in the the swag in the swag bag and he was walking up and down and literally bought, paying twenty dollars for every one of those comics that he could buy it, it was pretty neat i i kept mine because uh, i didn't pay for my ticket my friend bought it for me he wanted me to go um and then we met john cena so that was <laughs> We got into an autograph session with John Cena, so I have a photo with uh, me, my sister, uh, friend with John Cena, so that's pretty cool, actually. So, uh, Corona right here, give me the finger, and uh, at one point, which is insane to me, someone paid $130 for it, I said it's going to come down eventually because people get it, and... Someone bought it for $130, so now it's at $35.90. So overall, as you see, conventions are worth it. Stop by the Bushy Road uh, booth, uh, collect some. There was even uh, Bang Dream. I know these were given out as PR packs um, for stores. So the price is a little bit lower, but you can take pictures with the little stands of the Bushy Road on the road. Where is it? Here. Oh. I thought they had a picture of all the little stands, but that's on their Twitter. So it's not here, but if you take a picture, post it, you get the actual card that goes with it. And lastly, I like Trickstar, uh, Card Fight Vanguard. So Bushy Road on the Road 2022. Uh, not only can you get wide store stuff, but yeah, you can always pick up and learn how to play Card Fight Vanguard as well and get this. So I think that'll be pretty cool. So overall, all pretty expensive. Uh, it's worth it to go this. I, I heard a lot of people had a lot of fun, a lot of cool merch to be had, and I really want some of these. I, I really want some of these, especially the. I mean, obviously, I want the signed ones, but still, I want the popping. Who do I want? I want. I want Hello Happy World. If I had to get a signature, because Miku, right? I gotta get Miku. I, I think that's the one for me. Uh, if I had to just get one. I mean, most people would want the Yukina, and which would be Aina Aiba, of course. So uh, overall, really neat. Go check it out. Everybody had a lot of fun. I I am gonna finalize when I'm going for the New York one tomorrow when I meet uh, a bunch of friends. So there's a couple of people that said they 
are on the fence of going or not going, so I'm just going to ask them if they're going to go and then finally uh, look to purchase my ticket at some point. That's how that's going to work. And I pur purchase my ticket at some point, but I need to check with them if they're going or not. So uh, that's what it'll be. Um, lastly, we got Hololive Premium Booster Box. I saved this for the end. Uh, what I really want to say about this is this thing came out during... Bushy Road on the Road Anime Expo, and uh, it was a limit of six. The interesting part is about this, uh, that this is usable. So if you guys zoom in here, this is the original announcement that these boxes would be sold there. And it says, it sounds like boxes can be bought at Anime Expo. Does this mean the cards are legal on July 1st, or do they need to wait until the official release of September 30th? And why should words wrote back? These will be legal from July 1st. Smiley face. Unfortunately, if you actually try to go out to the Why Schwarz deck log, these cards don't exist. Uh, I can't find them, right? So if I just type in girl, bam, she's there. But her card is not. And just so you can see what these cards are actually called, let me zoom out a little bit more. It says, wishing for a future with you, Gargara. And I only use Gara because she doesn't have like a million cards, but wishing doesn't exist. This actually goes to like a question that I've always had in my mind. Uh, I've said it out loud, but when you take a look here, I always wonder how TCG player gets their cards, like to actually put up here. Because interesting enough, it is not on TCG player as well. So the people that actually bought this and are attempting to sell it, uh, they can't, I believe, unless I am completely blind, uh, cannot actually sell this on TCG Player. Even though the cards exist, they're not on the deck log, and they're not on TCG Player. So I always wonder if there's like some sort of connection from TCG Player to maybe the site, the uh, the YH Wars site, to get it. I, I don't know how it, they get any of these. Uh, but it, it makes it interesting that both of them are missing it, right? Like, it, it did release. It's out there. It's not on here. Maybe it's still too early yet, right? Um, last, oh, and the, so we'll see what happens with that. The prices are pretty expensive. It's funny actually seeing people um, just try to figure out what the prices are. I know people are using a little bit of UUTE. Some people are, are trying the whole multiplier thing. But everybody, you know, you're trying to sell it in a timely fashion. But at the same time, uh, people may be waiting to actually pick it from Bushy Road Global Online Store or uh, elsewhere. But last thing, anyways, I always find it fun uh, to the point where sometimes I do these videos to see, like, what will actually have been. Like, I, as in, I'm not manipulating the market in any, any way. I'm not saying I'm doing that. Uh, what I'm doing is, I, I told you about Anti-Magic Mask. And the person that did this obviously knows that they did it. And, you know, I'm telling you, I'm talking to you. I, I see no problem with it, just so you know. But I've always had an interesting kind of thing to see how many people actually use the information I put out here. Uh, it, it makes me realize that uh, it's it could be used for good or evil. In this case, I don't really, I, I don't really mind. I'm not saying I mind it, but it's always interesting to me to see how I talked about anti-magic mask and not too much long later that the price changes on it. So that's all I'm going to really say on that. Um, uh, I, I know before people were asking me if I should do like a, a Patreon or something like that. I don't think I'm ever going to do that. So that's not where this is going. I always wish I could tell people beforehand that, again, not in an evil way. Uh, so that people just buy up all of them card or do those targeted buyouts that people do on Magic the Gathering. But people that actually need a card can buy it before someone changes the price or realizes it or buys it all up uh, based on what I said. I know with Rudy, um, he does a thing sometimes where he'll tell people ahead of time before he makes a video, his patrons, that his patrons that, you know, hey, I'm going to put this video out if you... If you're wanting to buy something, maybe you buy it soon-ish because you, you don't have much time. So in that in that way, I was thinking, I'm like, I wonder how I should do this. But no, I don't want to do a Discord. That seems like a lot of effort. 
And uh, I don't want to do Patreon because my information is not worth a ton of money. Um, it's just really to help people to get the cards they need if they're actually wanting to play with that deck. Right, so that, that's all I want to do it for. So again, the person that changed those prices or the people that bought on the information, I don't mind. This is, I mean, I put these videos out there. What, what can I expect, right? But it's always neat to, to see what happens when I talk about things. I know that's happened plenty of times in the past and it can still continue. So what I would say is thanks for watching. I mean, that's, that's pretty cool that uh, people are out there that watch and uh, want to actually try some of these things out or want to get cards to play with. So uh, with that, that's everything. Again, I've been really busy with work. I've been, um, because I have to, because I get a day off, I have to work harder because my job, um, it never ends. There's deadlines or deadlines. So if something's due on tomorrow, July 8th, that doesn't having a holiday doesn't mean that oh i get to just have a holiday and it gets pushed to uh, july 13th that doesn't actually happen it actually means that i just have to work harder to make up for that <laughs> so uh that's what i've been doing also i've been tending my garden my garden's been attacked uh by japanese beetles they like eating basil so i know you can't hear it but off to my right over there is a food dehydrator so i've been dehydrating some of my herbs i've been hanging up some of my other herbs to air dry uh, but overall i had to clean that all up yesterday which really sucks if you if you haven't had to deal with japanese beetles they're awful They'll just like destroy everything so that is basically all in my life so i don't know if i'm gonna open any attack on titan if i do if i ever do i would really like to do it where I, i've said this uh on a video before where i'd like to open one two and three to have a kind of flow as in like a timeline wise of the anime i think that would be a, actually a lot of fun uh but unfortunately this isn't really the the way these seasons work. I don't know if that really works out that way. And even then, Attack on Titan is really long. <laughs> so it was really, it was really long. I don't know if I want to stare at a bunch of Aaron cards or uh, some of the other ones for three straight like videos or whatever. So don't know if I actually want to do that. But uh, that's probably the only way I ever open it. And the trial deck, kind of interesting on the trial deck. They're still hanging out there. Where is my Attack on Titan sealed? Attack on Titan. So overall, the Attack on Titan trial deck still, I, I think it's pretty high. Uh, trial decks have been like, it's always hard to find like that happy medium of trial deck, right? Where it's, where if there's too many of them out there in the world, you see what happened with Hololive. They're like 20 bucks, 18, 20 bucks. I mean, Bushy Road on the road, $17. But at the same time, if you buy it and hold on to it, and this thing is $65, that, that's pretty incredible. Uh, trial decks have that potential to be really, really awesome, but at the same time, really, really bad. Um, but as time goes by, if you look at some of the older ones, the ones that aren't as available, really, really expensive. Uh, one I like to look at is Bofree. That's, that's one of my uh, better ones to look at, I say, just because of... Uh, where you have not a ton of supply uh, being here and not a huge amount of demand because of the power level of Bofri. and you but still I mean if you got this when it was you know like bought it from an actual store if you bought it from a distributor whatever just think about that fifty dollars is what Bofri is actually sitting at so trial decks don't go overboard at the same time it's always nice to have some I, I really love a trial decks trial decks are one of those ones no matter what, I always like to have a bunch of trial decks. And when I mean a bunch, I mean a couple displays uh, uh, worth of trial decks. More because I like how the display looks. I wish there was color. But at the same time, uh, when you go back and look at it, you can actually play a game with this. I mean, you could buy the booster box, but if you had one booster box or one trial deck, which one could you play the game with? I think the trial deck uh, over you know the next 20 years... Uh, will be a better hold than a booster box. I know people may think that's crazy. Percent-wise, I think it makes a whole lot of sense. Um, and at the same time, you can still play a game, which is all I really want it for. 
uh, the ability to hand a trial deck to someone and we can just sit down and play a game. I think that's really cool. Uh, anyways, talk too long. <laughs> As always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside of your budget. Have a good one.